Hey guys, Ryan here, and today we're bringing you a replay in the Object 257 on Malinovka. Now, it's going to be a tier 10 game, and there is artillery in both teams. Um, the enemies have 4 tier 8s, and we have none, so we have the matchmaking advantage. But even though we have the matchmaking advantage, the enemies do get a few extra tier 10s, and um, this game, they're going to win the hell, I'm just going to say that now. And you're going to see me make a few choices here that keep me alive, and they're going to be quite important choices to do with going to the hill. So as you see, I'm going to make my way up to the hill. I can see on the mini-map, or just the map when I open it, that I have a few teammates heading this way. There's also a few teammates at base not moving yet, clearly deciding where and when to go. And there's a Conqueror with me, which is great. That's a great hold-down tank, because I'm not really a hold-down tank. Because I don't really have any gun to press, my tank's only going to really work if I can get up to the hill. Um, you see, I keep opening the map. And that's important at the start of a game. Because, at the start of a game, if you decide you're going to go somewhere, it's not as simple as just still going there. You've got to keep evaluating that plan. So, for example, you see, I am keep opening the map because I keep wanting to see my team. And what's going to happen is, there's another medium with me up here. And that you, if you've seen, the team have stopped a lot of them to shoot across the field or something, uh, where the light techs are on the center of the map. So if you've seen them all stop, I've noticed them all stop, so you're going to see, I'm going to pull up to the right here, and I'm going to stop as well. And this is because, if I go up to the top of the hill, and all the enemies go up there, I'll be caught out and I'll die. If I stay here, I can run back down and join the team, if need be. Hit a shot on the enemy after he disappears. 50 Pete's already lost over half his hit points. They already have a tank up on the hill. They have multiple tanks up on the hill, now they have Patriot as well, and the issue is, Patriots, although they're tier 8, are very good hull down tanks, they've got good turret armor. So that's going to be an issue with my APCR shell, I'm pretty much not going to be able to pan them, because if they're using their full gun depression, their components will be hidden. Conqueror's finally shown up, I've got another heavy tank behind me, TD's on his way. The team are finally starting to move up, however, they now have the initial foothold up on the hill. They also have, an they also have a T7 Heavy up there, very dangerous gun, um, but not as hard to pan as a Patriot is hull down. And now you've seen I've loaded the heat to try and help me go through the arm here, because they also have an E5. And if any of you have played E5, that machine gun turret on top isn't really a weak point. Um, it's sometimes a weak point, sometimes isn't. But if you're if he's hull down on you and you're shooting up at it, it's even stronger than if you're on flat ground. And even on flat ground, it can be really awkward to pan. So this is what I mean by word of disadvantage. Although I do manage to pan through his turret again with another blind shot. Um, so I've now got heat loaded here because I can't pan these dudes. Um, so we've lost the hell. However, if you notice on the enemy team, they've lost one tank already, and it's their artillery. Even though we've lost the helm, the important thing in this game is our artillery is still alive. And on this map, artillery plays a huge role. So we can just hold here, keep them spotted, and stop our artillery from dying. We have the advantage. My gun gets broken by the Patriot, and I want to fix it, because I need the accuracy. And also, if you notice, look at all the enemies up there. Had I pushed up by myself and not slowed down and stopped when I saw my teamwork going up, I'd already be dead by now. So as I said, it's a good thing to have a plan at the start of a game about where you want to go, but then just keep an eye on your team, keep an eye on the map, and just be ready to change your plan if need be. Heat through the turret of the E100. <laughs> Got a friendly E100 here, as well as a Jaeguru behind me. Now the good news is, I know I don't need to worry about the 705A, or more importantly, the ship barn. Because when Darth died earlier, out on the field, the 705A and the ship barn were on the field, at the other side of the map. So I don't need to worry about them. I don't actually need these heat shells here, because they're actually showing their hull to me, the Patriots. And not just their turrets. But at the same time, if I need to shoot at the E5, I'm going to need H. So you see, I turn back to APCR. Trying to find a better position. 
and you see I'm keeping an eye on the map because I want to make sure that the ship bar didn't show up without me noticing. Our artillery gets another kill. You'll see I do bounce off the weak point of the E5 of the APCR. And now I'm looking at trying to get a shot into the Type 4 possibly. But the E5 keeps popping up. They also have an M48 pattern now, which I didn't notice, but thankfully our Jaeger takes them out. And this whole time, I am aware that um, there might be someone coming towards our base now. You see, I just noticed the problem with those two, those two tanks at the church and artillery, there's no one really back towards our base. So I want to start heading back, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I want to leave these tanks here to deal with the enemies by themselves. I mean, the Jaeger's been doing good work. Teammate gets a shot into the E5. I miss. Jaeger picks up the Patriot. And as I said, this Jaeger's just been putting in work for us. And now, enemy heavy tanks with near our base. I'm assuming 705. So I'm going to start going back. This artillery has been key to our plans. Um, he pretty much single-handedly won us the hell. Thanks to the Jaeger when I was holding the line there. But as I said, if we didn't have artillery this game, we probably would have struggled a lot more to win the hell. I get shot to the side of 705A, another ship bar, and he's who I'm really scared of. There is a slight hill to my left that I can hide behind if need be, so you're going to see I'm going to start trying to left. I'm looking where I want to go, and I want to keep that uh, route open, just in case I get spotted. And at this distance, I shall get spotted. I fire on the move, and instantly, to avoid getting shot at, dive in the cover. Although the ship barn actually fires at the 50B anyway. So now I'm loading the high explosive shells. I only carry three in this tank, and they are mainly four, ship barns and Waffley 100s. Get a nice shot into his turret for 500. The 705 base pushing towards our cap. And now there's an issue that earlier the E5 with the high explosive shell damaged my viewfinder. So I'm a bit low on V range. While I'm spotted, I don't want to push out because the shipboard isn't spotted and there's a the chance that he's probably just pre aiming over here ready for me to poke out. So see, I'm. Trying to ignore the 705A, but he's the one spotting me, so I'm just going to go for an interrupt. Zero damage, but I do get the track, which is what I wanted. And I'm kind of hoping a teammate will spot the ship barn. Seven oh five A backs up. And again, you don't want to push when you're spotted when there's a TD like ship barn, because obviously you can't bounce a ship barn. Well, you can if he's firing AP, but he's not firing AP. I have the APCR loaded again, because I was thinking I might have to fight the 705A, and I just noticed that the ship barn has fire, so I push out. Get one shot with the APCR, and then I load back to my final high explosive shell. I don't want to shoot at the 705A. I'm just aiming in. And thankfully, I get another hit him. Ship burns dead, now it's just a 705A left. He only has a little bit of health, but um, I'm just going to spoil it now. No one else is going to get any damage this game, because the 705A is going to be a scumbag and kill himself. In the water that usually is reserved for the artillery to kill themselves. So at the moment, it's said I've done 4100 damage, but I have got a couple blind shots this game, so it will be more than that. I haven't got any kills, however, so bear that in mind when you see the post-game uh, results. As you can see, I'm only a couple thousand XP away from getting the Slapjack at this point, so I will have a video up later in the Slapjack for you. 5,000 damage, 1,700 assistance, 1,200 blocked, only a first class due to the fact I didn't get any kills, and I didn't manage to make a profit despite all the heat uh, shells fired. So this game is just about Initial plan to go up the hill, team didn't follow me, so I stayed back, that kept me alive, and our artillery did the work. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.